Airdrops are life-changing opportunities. People make thousands and even millions of dollars by interacting with protocols that don't have a token. So in this video, I'm going to show you five protocols without a token that can airdrop us hundreds to even thousands of dollars for just a few dollars worth of investments. To me, it's completely worth it and I'm predicting that all of these five protocols will complete an airdrop. So let's not waste any time and get started. I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team. And remember, nothing in this video is financial advice, purely my own opinion and based on my own research. Do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose. Use a burner wallet for any airdrop transactions and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button and leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides, project reviews, articles and everything crypto related. Okay. Let's jump straight into the video. Okay, guys, so starting off with a huge one is going to be ZK Sync. And honestly, out of all the airdrops, I think this is probably going to be one of the largest. And it's extremely important to participate in if you are farming airdrops. Now, what you're going to need is a MetaMask wallet, which we have already made a video on. And if you haven't seen that, I'll leave that linked in the description below. And we have already made a ZK Sync airdrop tutorial, which I will also leave linked in the description below. Now, we're going to continue and expand our odds of getting the airdrop, which I believe will be the ZKS token. So the most most important task to do in my opinion would be to use the official ZK Sync bridge which if you head over to the ZK Sync website which is zksync.io and you head over to bridge it's going to take you over to the official website which is portal.zksync.io and you must bridge it from the Ethereum mainnet there is no other option you can't bridge it from Arbitrum, Optimism or any other layer 2 you must facilitate it on the Ethereum mainnet now obviously the Ethereum mainnet comes with higher gas fees and as you can see down here there's an $8 fee of Ethereum therefore it is pretty expensive to use this bridge so it's completely up to you whether or not you use this bridge but i do highly recommend using it you would simply connect your wallet enter the amount of eth that you want to send over there's no point of doing anything like 20 dollars 30 dollars worth because eight dollars is going to take up most of it so i would highly recommend doing a minimum of 50 dollars and anything beyond that now if you don't want to use the zk sync official bridge you can use orbiter finance which is an amazing third party bridge which is also doing an airdrop this is not going to be part of the airdrop tutorials on this video but i'm just going to show you quickly you can choose Use any of these networks to bridge from and send it all the way over to the ZK Sync era network. It will save you a lot more in gas fees and will also save you a lot of time and will also get you the Orbiter Finance airdrop as well as the ZK Sync and other network tokens that you would be interacting with. Now, moving on, assuming that you've already bridged over tokens to the ZK Sync network, we're now going to head over to the ZK Sync ecosystem, which you can interact with some decentralized applications. So you're going to have to have ETH in your ZK Sync era network, which as you can see, I'm on the ZK Sync era network and I've got $30 worth of Ethereum. And what we can do is we can literally interact with any decentralized application in the ZK Sync era network that only has the live on era at the moment. So as you can see, Balance doesn't have the live on era tag. However, Argent, One Inch, Mute, and so on are available on the ZK Sync network at the moment. So assuming we use the Mute protocol first, which is a decentralized exchange, we're going to head over to the website, going to click enter app, and we're going to connect our wallet. And as you can see, these are all the tokens I have. I've got Ethereum, I've got Mute tokens. So I'm just going to swap mute tokens which is also the native token of this decentralized exchange and i'm going to swap it into usdc so i'm just going to do 33.8 because that's the maximum amount i have i have to approve the smart contract once you've confirmed the smart contract you can then complete the transaction just like so we're swapping it right now 33.8 mute to just under 10 dollars worth of usdc and that is one interaction on the zk sync network from here you can either create some more transactions by either using the liquidity pools you can make some more swaps and you can interact however you like what we're trying to do here is on the ZK Sync network we're trying to interact with as many decentralized applications which are known as smart contracts and of course we're trying to facilitate as much volume as possible so for example that was $10 worth of volume as we swap $10 worth of mute into USDC and we made one transaction so so from here what I'm going to recommend is going back over to the ZK Sync ecosystem choosing another kind of decentralized application whether it's a decentralized exchange NFT marketplace or whatever it might be I highly recommend using as many decentralized applications as possible as when the snapshot comes they're going to see how many interactions we had with decentralized applications how much volume we did in total over a certain period of time and how much overall volume now going down i'm just going to recommend sync swap which is also my favorite decentralized application on the zk sync network and is a decentralized exchange and i've already provided liquidity for however what i want you to do is interact with this protocol because it already hasn't got a token and i believe that by interacting with it you're going to get an airdrop for the sync swap protocol as well as obviously the zk sync network now as you can see, we've got USDC. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to pools and we go up top where it says positions. 
As you can see, I've got USDT with ETH, a total value of just under $30. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to pools. I'm going to use the USDC to ETH. I'm going to click enter. I'm going to click deposit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click $4.50 worth of USDC. I'm going to click add tokens in balance proportion. Click unlock USDC. This is to approve the smart contracts. Click max and accept. So that's unlocked. Now we can click deposit and it's going to do $4.50 worth of ETH and $4.50 worth of USDC into a pooled position totaling of nine dollars now that would mean i've entered into two pools with the sync swap protocol i've made two transactions in total now now if i go back over to trade i'm just going to swap the remaining usdc into eth click swap and happy days so now there's three transactions on two different decentralized applications. Just rinse and repeat the same procedure. Find a decentralized application, complete as many transactions, as much volume as possible. Do this once, twice a week, and you should be good to go for the ZK Sync airdrop. Now, if you're struggling with finding applications, then what I recommend doing is heading over to layer3.xyz, which is a task performance website. And it's absolutely amazing, by the way. All you would do is go down to categories, find ZK Sync, and just complete all of these tasks. It tells you to go onto ZK Sync era and it shows you the introduction use the mute decks use the space five protocol the ot swap protocol maverick wufi pancake swap satori izumi finance on chain trade space five again mute and of course layer three interactions so you can interact with all of these tasks and it will help you to perform as many transactions accumulate as much volume and of course interact with as many dApps as possible so that is zk sync in a nutshell and that is the best way of qualifying for the airdrop in my opinion now Moving on, we have StarkNet up next. And StarkNet is another protocol and blockchain that is expected to have a huge airdrop. We have made an airdrop tutorial in the past. If you haven't watched that, I will leave that linked in the description below. We set up an ArgentX wallet, which is a native wallet to the StarkNet ecosystem. And what I recommend doing is obviously, first of all, heading over to the official bridge. So head over to the ecosystem, click on bridges and ramps, scroll down. And the official StarkNet bridge is obviously StarkGate, as we can expect. So click the website button. It's gonna take you over to a new website. And what's recommended is to obviously bridge from Ethereum network. However, the best thing is you don't have to bridge from Ethereum. You can bridge over from any chain. So for example, if we did Arbitrum, we can save on gas fees. But the problem is you have to use a third party bridge. It will not use the Startgate official bridge. So if you want to use the official Startgate bridge, you have to use the Ethereum network. Now you can also use on-ramp options by using your payment credit card, or you can use exchanges such as Coinbase, OKX, Huobi, and other exchanges. Now, what I do recommend using is the Ethereum network, but like I've mentioned before, or you're always going to end up spending more gas fees. So that's why I love protocols like Orbiter Finance because it saves us a lot of money. Now, all you would do is connect your wallet, get started, use either MetaMask, Phantom, or ArgentX, whichever one you have. As you can see, I'm not going to be bridging over from the Ethereum network to the StockNet network. What I recommend is before we get started, you probably have an update to do on your Argent wallet. As you can see here, it says upgrade to Cairo one is available. So this is the next phase of StockNet and it's required to carry on with interacting with the network. So click this button for some reason it's going to cost a maximum of 50 cents i don't know why it's asking for a fee when we're upgrading onto the network however we're just going to have to accept it because that's the way it is now click confirm and that is complete we have now officially upgraded to the cairo phase one which i'm assuming the token is coming up soon so that's why they're probably doing all of these updates they're trying to update the network as much as possible in the past as you can see we've obviously interacted with networks as we've got nfts but the next stage in my opinion is the best thing to do is to use your native wallet which in my one is going to be Argent. Other people have Bravos and what you can do here is you can swap on your native wallet just by using ETH to USDC and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be bridging over some assets from Arbitrum from Orbiter Finance. So this will be my first interaction before I start swapping on my Argent wallet. So if I click over here, click Arbitrum, bridge over to Starknet, let's just do 0 0.0111 click send the transaction on it may be done in one to two hours just to let you know confirm and send switch over to arbitrum as you can see it's a 13 cents gas fees very cheap confirm and you just wait for the transaction to be completed like i said it might take some time so don't expect it to take seconds like it does with other networks but in the meantime you can interact with some protocols so for example if you want to swap on your argent wallet you would just go over here choose your eth i'm going to do 0.0333 which is five dollars and i'm going to swap it into usdc now click review swap confirm the transaction that is one transaction with five dollars worth of volume what we're now going to do is go back over to the ecosystem click up top 
click the apps and now we're going to be able to explore all the d apps within the starknet ecosystem which it has a page of its own so we're going to click on this and this is the official starknet ecosystem website so we're only going to be able to interact with ones that say live and one of my favorite ones is jedi swap but we've already done that one in previous videos we're going to be doing dmail in a minute but that is going to be saved for a second so just hold on what i'm going to do is i'm going to head over to layer swap i'm going to click the website we haven't used this protocol before I'm going to click launch app and what we can do from here is we can choose any network for example starknet and we can swap over to another network whether it be zk sync optimism polygon zk evm binance smart chain and so many other different networks it's fantastic say if it was polygon you would just enter your amount that you want to send over you'd have to connect your wallet and then just simply send it now i'm not just going to do this transaction this is just to show you how to do it you would just simply enter your polygon wallet address absolutely class and then you just click over send this is a great protocol to use and will help us qualify for other airdrops that have not got a token now going back if we scroll down you can interact with protocols such as loot realms which is a game fire protocol you can use paraswap which is a decentralized exchange you can use protocols like stark guardians which is an nft protocol and obviously i recommend doing the starknet id which we've done in the previous starknet airdrop tutorial make sure you get your id i'd highly recommend it you can use protocols like stark sport stark wars thoth the ninth let's say we head over to wido which is another cross-chain protocol we can go over to the demo app and what we can do is we can literally swap tokens between different networks so let's just say we did starknet and we want to swap usdc for example you connect your starknet wallet click argent x confirm and what we're going to do is we're going to just choose another token let's just say eth click max review confirm 50 cent network fee and as you can see from the orbit of finance our tokens have bridged over it didn't take one to two hours it was actually very fast around five to ten minutes so that is superb now we just wait for the usdc to swap over to ethereum which it has done the starknet network might be quite congested due to the fact that it's quite busy for the airdrop next up what you can do is you can go over to your argent wallet use this application as well it's powered by jedi swap so it's a two-in-one you'll probably get tokens from the jedi swap protocol as well as the argent wallet as well so you can just swap your tokens whatever it might be let's just say we did usdt and i just want to do 0.0069 which is 11 dollars roughly confirm it and that that so this is exactly what i recommend doing guys just interacting with as many decentralized applications as possible ones that are safe and ones that are recommended by many users so the more volume the more transactions and the more decentralized applications that you interact with the higher the odds that you're going to get the stark airdrop as well as other protocol tokens that are on here now carrying on this one's going to be connected with starknet and it's going to help us get the starknet airdrop as well as another token airdrop which we've done in the past and that is dmail network so if we head over to the website in the past we did an airdrop specifically for the dmail protocol which is essentially your gmail of crypto and what you want to do is you want to launch the dmail application it's going to take you over to mail.dmail.ai and as you can see it's asking us to log in so you can log in through metamask trust wallet and so on but i'm going to be going through starknet using my argent x wallet and here you're able to send and receive receive emails so for example if i was to click compose you'd be able to send emails from here now what you want to do is you want to go up to the top right where it says points and you can invite friends and you will get some points as well invite friends to buy and receive nft domain account which we should all do by interacting with this protocol if you use email to send emails for seven consecutive days you'll get 50 points if you use the starknet chain to send an email you get 100 points a day and every time that you get points it will appear here and then you just import it to your nft where i believe that in the future once they take the snapshot of the amount of points that you have in your nft they're going to convert the points into dmail tokens and that's when we'll get the airdrop so to do so we just click compose choose an email address so for example i'll choose the one over here on the side just random email addresses that i've created and then what i'll do is just click g g it doesn't have to be a proper message you can if you want if you want to send proper emails but i'm going to click send I'm going to ask for a 10 cents to maximum 30 cent gas fee click send and your email has been sent so once you've done that you go over to points as you can see i've got 121 points now if i click view details these are all the points i've owned in the past if i go back import to nft choose the amount of points i want to send over to my nft so i'm going to do 121 which is the amount i have and in my nft i've already got 3042 so i'm hoping that in the future i'm going to get 3042 dmail tokens who knows it might be 10 percent of that one percent of that it might be converted into another method we just don't know yet as you can see a minimum of 200 points needs to be imported so you have to wait till you have a minimum of 200 then you can import all those points into the nft so just do this once a day it doesn't have to be three times a day four to five times a day use it as much as possible and we're going to get the higher odds of getting the starknet airdrop as well as the dmail airdrop and obviously guys if you want you can send me an email so i'm going to leave my dmail email address down below for you 
guys so you can send me an email and I'll send you one back so we can help each other with getting interactions and obviously getting the airdrop. Now next up we have Polyhedra which guys this is actually integrated with layer zero so this is a two-in-one airdrop where we'll be qualifying for the layer zero and Polyhedra NF airdrops. Now you can use the ZK bridge and ZK messenger protocols so if we go to ZK bridge first what we can do is we can either create an NFT or check out our gallery we can go over here where it says enter loyalty program and mystery of Pandralia so we want to do both of these this is going to take us over to galaxy which we've done in the past and you just want to interact with these if there are any live which they are not at the moment so you'd ignore these you instead we're going to go over to misty of pandralia and what you can do is you just go through these and claim as many nfts as possible so as you can see we've completed the pixel prowler we've done the code conqueror eco guardian ones and so on you just go over here and it will tell you what to do so Pandra Eco Guardian is to obviously interact from C load to BNB, which you can do. And as you can see, this is what the gist is. So you would just choose your NFT that you want to mint. Obviously, this one's coming soon. You can mint one of these. So for example, if we did this Pandra debug pilot, we just click claim, choose the MetaMask wallet, confirm and connect, swap network. And then you just click confirm, assuming that you have testnet BNB tokens in your wallet. Now, obviously, if you watch the Polyhedra airdrop video that we've done in the past, you will already have testnet BNB tokens. So I'll leave that linked in the description below. And as you can see, that has been confirmed. We have now minted that NFT and we can use the ZK bridge to bridge over the NFT. So you just click your MetaMask wallet, sign the transaction, and we're on the test net, so it doesn't actually cost anything. Confirm import next, select the network to receive it on. Let's just choose the Arbitrum test net, click next, approve the transaction. And just like so, that has been approved. Then you just click transfer. And just to make sure you're going to have to have Arbitrum testnet tokens on the other side due to the fact that we need to claim it once we're on the Arbitrum test network. So just wait for this to be completed, just like so. You just wait for all the transactions to be completed, all the confirmations anyway. And just like so, that was completed. It took around two minutes. Now you claim on the Arbitrum testnet. And like I said, you're going to have to have some Arb testnet tokens. So it will switch automatically. And then you must pay the gas fees, which is very minuscule and doesn't cost actual any real money. And we've completed that, that task. So next step, I recommend going over to ZK Messenger and you can just do this from any network. So for example, if I did the Polygon network, this is going to be the actual Polygon network. So you're going to have to have some Matic and then you can send over to, for example, the BNB chain. So you can send any message you like. This is literally like your instant messaging service, like WhatsApp, but just using networks. So click send a message. You're going to have to confirm the transaction in your wallet once it appears, just like so. And you just wait for it. I haven't got much Matic in my wallet, so I'm going to top that up very soon. But nonetheless, we've still got enough but it cost 1.52 Matic. So it's pretty expensive to do that, but it's worth it because we'll be getting the Polyhedra airdrop. Next, what you can do is you can go over to ecosystem and just use as much as possible. For example, the ZK Bridge ecosystem campaign, life form cross with Polyhedra avatar, the OP BNB Odyssey Pandralia tasks. And you can just check out all of these different protocols that are part of the ZK Bridge ecosystem. Now, if you go over to loyalty, you can also enter the loyalty program, which we showed you earlier, and there's nothing live at the moment, but you just want to keep doing as many of these as possible as you can see these are all completed so you can't do those at the moment but anything that is claiming you can do that is pretty much it for the polyhedra zk bridge you can also create your own nfts if you want to do so it's very simple we showed you how to do that in the last polyhedra airdrop tutorial which i'm going to leave linked in the description below now moving on to the last and final airdrop tutorial is going to be holograph now holograph is a great application focused on nfts and it's all about cross chains so if you haven't watched our holograph airdrop tutorial which i explained more about it i will also leave that linked in the description below however if we go over to the application by clicking open app and as you can see it shows us an nft we can't actually mint it at the moment it's starting in a few hours which you can see here but it's a bit blurred out because of my camera this will start in a few hours so once it's available you just come here every single day there is a new nft to mint but and obviously by minting holograph nfts you are obviously going to qualify for the airdrop now if we scroll down there is an nft available so if i click this button clicking down as you can see ends in eight hours and 40 minutes we just have to mint this nft so if i move my camera this is a free nft is only just going to cost gas fees we can either do it in matic or whichever network you like so i'm going to choose a different network let's just choose arbitrum switch network click free and click mint and it's only going to cost us gas fees and you can literally do this every single day whenever there's a new nft you just mint it and it's going to increase your nft collection and it's obviously going to give you higher odds of getting the holograph airdrop and as you can see we've now successfully minted our nft we can click view nft if we want you can also create an nft going over here and you can sell it on open marketplaces which i've already created an nft in the past 
past as you can see you can also use the bridge which is fantastic but what i'm most interested in is the holograph xp season one which we can see up here it's telling us deploy mint and bridge to earn holograph experience points now this will obviously be qualifying us for the airdrop so keep an eye on holograph we're probably already getting points for interacting with the protocol already so interact with it before the season comes because i think we'll be ready before everyone starts getting involved now in a nutshell guys that is pretty much it we've covered five different airdrop tutorials if you want to know more then head over to our youtube channel which in total we have 35 different videos covering zk sync metamask starknet layer zero venom foundation syndicate airdrop cashmere labs polygon zk evm base igen layer five ir OPBNB, Scroll, Zeta Chain, DYDX, Relative Finance, Orbiter Finance, Linear, Ethermail, Zerion, Polyhedra, Dmail, OPBNB, Holograph, SyncSwap, Tyco, and so many more that are upcoming. Stay tuned, stay subscribed. If you have any questions, you can hit me up on Twitter at HiCryptoGuy. And you can obviously hit us up in the comment section below, but I'm more active on Twitter if you have any urgent questions. And also, guys, don't forget to follow Jules at AltCryptoGems on Twitter. Join the Alt Talk Discord and follow us on Twitter. And guys, we also have a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DJs.